What's up guys? In these videos, I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about my favorite DJ controller, the new Mark DJ to go to touch. All right, how to map controllers with DJ Pro. We're using the DJ to go to touch by new Mark, and let's dive right in. All right, so once it's connected, you'll see that when you move the sliders and the knobs on the controller, that it moves on either the iPad or the phone, whatever you're using. So now hit the middle button. And this button will bring you to settings. Now you go down to settings and right under advanced, you go to MIDI devices. This controller is also called a MIDI device. Now you may be thinking, how are we gonna change a button? How do we know which button is which? Well, it's actually really cool. Any button you press, will bring you to the menu where you can change the actual button. So now I'm gonna change these headphone buttons. I'm gonna make this into an echo. So instead of the headphone on or off, it's gonna be echo on and off. So I'll show you how to do that. That's how I like to use this controller. I don't really use my headphones with this controller because I only use it for like small events if I'm like a family barbecue or something like that. Okay. So now we, we press the control that we want to change. And now it's the target is where it's gonna go. What is this button gonna control? What is its target? So we wanted to do deck one because we're gonna want to put an echo on this button on deck one. So we go to deck one. Okay. Now what is it gonna do? We know where it's going, but what is it gonna do when it gets there? So what we do is we hit action. And now you're gonna go all the way down. These are these this is all the features in the whole app. And we're gonna pick which one we want. So we're gonna go all the way down. It's pretty far down, but it's there. Right after the same loops, I think it is. FX. Okay. So now we're gonna do FX1 enabled. Okay. So now this is gonna turn on FX1. Okay, so we got that side. And now we're gonna do it on the other side. So over here is the same control, but on deck two. So now we do the same thing real quick. Deck one, action. And I think it leaves you, yeah, it leaves you where you left off on the other side so you don't have to go find it again. So now we're gonna do FX1 enabled on this deck. And now make sure you hit save, otherwise everything you did is useless. So we hit save. Okay, so now that you have the headphone controlling the echo, I'm gonna show you a couple examples of why you would wanna do this. So one of them would be if you were using this, if you were using this to scratch. So what you're gonna wanna do, set a beat, So you can add some cool effects with it by having the echo. Also, if you're doing um, if you are doing like a transition one song into another, what you could do with the echo is just turn the echo on when you want to do a transition. So just put on the echo. And then just play the next song. And the echo will be helping you have noise so it won't be completely silent when you do a transition. Okay. Okay, so now I taught you guys how to change one of the buttons on this controller. Now I'm gonna do something really cool which is the knobs. So nowadays, all new DJ controllers come with a filter knob. So what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna put a filter knob into this controller. So now we're gonna go down to MIDI device choose the controller and now you just touch the knob you want to change and it'll bring it up so we're going to use the cue level because like i said when i use this controller i don't really use 
the headphones. So that's a control for the headphones. So we're gonna change this into a filter knob, which will give you a lot more stuff, a lot more flexibility in your mix. So now we're gonna do deck two, because we're changing it on deck two. This is deck two, this is deck one. Now action, what are we gonna make it do? We're gonna make it a filter knob. So we're gonna go down, filter. So now this is the filter. So let's go test it out. Or let's do it on the other side real quick. We'll do the same thing for deck one. Deck one, action, filter. Okay, now we're gonna press save. Make sure you save it, always save. Okay, so now let's see if we got a filter. In order to see, you could press this button, which will bring up your levels, and then the filters all the way to the left. So we got the filter, and then I'll show you how it works. So you can either filter out all the highs or filter out all the, the lows. This makes it really easy to do transitions because now you have full control of the face. So it's like a face knob and a filter built in once and you'll be able to mix really good with it. So I'll show you how you would just change songs with using the filter. Okay, so now you guys have a filter knob and you have an echo effects button built in to your DJ to go touch. So this gives you a lot of options. There's a lot of stuff you can do with this setup. And it's only 90, 90 bucks at the most. I think it's on sale now. If you check out the link in the description, you will get the cheapest price on this product. Thanks for watching.